hey guys good morning welcome back to the channel guys if you are new you are welcome guys we're gonna start with energy here it could be your energy or it could be your person's energy you can always flip the energies you know go back and forth but I tried to lead with you because you're the one here but this could either be we could be tapping into your energy or into your person's energy then we're just gonna dig you know, and then eventually I'll end up with tarot. We're going to get some um, oracle cards going on in here. We're going to see what's going on with you and or the person that you're dealing with. All right, guys, let's just get it. Don't forget to flip these energies, guys. It may or may not resonate. It may be for you. It may not be for you. It may be for someone you know, right? It may be for family, you know, whatever. It is what it is. It could be for the person you're dating or not. If it don't fit, we must quit, guys. You can leave it on the table and say, what do they say? Swipe left. You can swipe left and leave it for someone else. Or you can swipe right and be like, that's my zhuzh. That is my zhuzh. All right, guys. What is going on? This is either what's in your energy space or the person that you're dealing with. You know better than me. Because I don't know what your person is dealing with. Either that, sometimes you may not even know what they're dealing with. But if you know it's not you, it could be them, right? The person you think about. Holy Spirit, for the collective. Guys, I'm waiting for this rain. It was hot as hell yesterday. It was hot. And I like, because I'm always cold. So I really don't like turning on the air until it's like steaming. So I was doing good all day up until around... I think it was like 4, 4.30. And what happens is the sun is normally in the front of the house. So it's cool in the back because of that water that's back there. So you get a cool breeze. And I'm in the back of the house when I do readings. But when that sun did that flip a roll on me, I was panting up. It. I, I was panting, you know. So and then I ended up turning it on. But it's crazy because when I turn it on in about 15 minutes, I'm cold. But that heat yesterday guys i'd rather be cold up under the blanket than hot i was hotter it's like you can only take off so many clothes right so, and then you still hot the hell it was hot as woo. all right guys let's get it what is going on with you yesterday was a hell of a day with family right you know some family because there's eight of us eight brothers and sisters a bunch of nieces and nephews. I'm the youngest. And I just had to rip some asses, right? I think um, when people pass away, things just come out, right? So and I, I had to I had to read some people from filth, right? I did. And then it went on all day. And I, and I was just grabbing and slamming. Grabbing and slamming. Grabbing and slamming. Wrote people off. Seriously. I ain't even playing. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie to you guys. I did. Holy Spirit, what's going on? And now I digress and I'm back to business. I'm out of state. I'm the fuck up here. They're the fuck down there. And it is what it is. And I'll see you again if I come to visit, right? But I won't be coming to visit you. What's going on, guys? What is in your energy space? You know that saying, you're born into family. Like you can't choose the family that you're born into. But you can choose your friends who are more like family than some family members. And then you can choose certain family members that are truly family. And that's where I'm at. Because why? I'm grown as fuck. Anyway, guys, we have the angels of balance. We have the angels of balance in your energy, which will, you know, bring things. It, it's all coordinated, right? <laughs> Everything is coming into balance, supposedly. And it's the thinking woman. So... This could be you. If you're a woman, you could be thinking. Somebody's definitely thinking. You're focused. You could be reading a book. You could be writing in a journal. But you definitely have a lot on your mind. You're thinking about a lot of things. Oh, that's interesting. This is number 48 and then that's number 47. So that's interesting as well. And then one more. And then we have all tied up. So you could be feeling tied up and it's actually three women on each card. So you could be feeling tied up about a situation. Your mind could be wondering. You could be thinking about what you're going to do next. You could be thinking about your relationship, but you're definitely thinking about it. You're thinking about what are you going to do? You could be tied up. You could feel tied up in a relationship that you don't want to be in. You can be trying to figure out what you're going to do about it. You know, whatever, whatever. But you're definitely thinking. 
All right? You're definitely thinking about what you're going to do. And you could be feeling a little tied up. Could have a lot on your mind. All right, what's going on, guys? I haven't used this deck in a while. I don't even know the name of it, but I know you've probably seen it before. These here. You've probably seen it before. All right, Holy Spirit, what's going on? Let's pick three of these. We have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So with the angel of balance here, you're definitely using your inner inner voice, your thoughts. Um, you're going to let that guide you correctly. You know what you said. I said what I said, right? All right. So basically, you're trusting yourself. You're trusting the situation. Um, you're believing in your own voice. All of those things. And then we have success. That's always a plus. I know that there is no greater goal than love. So I guess when it comes to your love life or whatever, you will have success in that. Maybe you're working hard at something. Maybe you're working hard at keeping a relationship or something like that. And then one more. And then we have doubt. And that's the all tied up. So they're going, they're going together. And then I release the need to know all the answers. So if you're trying to figure something out and it's just not coming to you, release it. So you're releasing things that you don't know the answers to. You're releasing things that you've been thinking about consistently all the time. It's like you're just going to throw your hands up, wave your hands from side to side, and you're just going to be like, you know what? I can't do it. Because sometimes, guys, you can always be in a thought process to where it kind of takes you off your game. Or whatever it is that you're doing because you're trusting in yourself you have success going on this and that you do want success and love and all of that but you're going to release the need to know all the answers you're just going to let something go right all right let's do some oracles here and this is the what oracle deck is this it has a cute little name to it let me look at the book it's the realist the realist oracle right so I really like that name, right? Because we like to keep things real over here. As real as possible. We like to keep it real. So what's going on with you? What are you dealing with, right? Let's see. I'm going to do three of these. Ooh, sexy time. Mm. You could be feeling good about yourself, right? Doesn't necessarily have to be with a person. You could just be, you know how some days, like some days we're running around the house in sweats and stuff. And then other days... You just want to get up, dress up, look pretty, feel good for you. So you could be feeling a little sexy time and or you about to, you know, have a little sexy time. But I'm going to say you're just feeling good about yourself. Body work. Yes. You could be working on yourself. You could be working out. You could be losing weight. For some of us, we want to gain weight. You could be toning up. Or whatever but you're definitely working on your body trying to get it better right could be working out because it's summertime guys but your best bet is to work out year round i'm not saying work out five days a week but if you can just get in two that way you don't have to rush and try to be like oh i need to do this blah 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 just work out year round right once or twice a week whatever just giving a good workout break a sweat so you're feeling sexy you're definitely caring about your body and then we have a community here celebrating you. You could be celebrating yourself with your friends, with your family, whoever you're with. They could be celebrating you. It could have something to do with your success, whatever. But you're definitely celebrating you. You're working on your body. You're feeling a little sexy. Feeling a little sexy, right? And we have a lot of women on here. So this is definitely a woman's reading. And right now, it's all about you, right? You're trusting yourself. You're trusting your inner voice. Um, there's no greater goal than to love. So you're going to have success in that. Maybe you just got to work out some little tidbits. But that feeling all tied up up in your head, you're, you're going to release that doubt. You're going to stop trying to figure out all the answers, trying to figure out why people do what they do. So you're just going to let that go and let it be. Now let's put some tarot on here. What's going on and with who? You're definitely changing here. Two of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Cups in reverse. 
you could be taking your love back from someone or just not giving that type of love to another person. You could be pulling back. Um, but you're definitely ready for a change. You're definitely pulling back from someone. Maybe you want love, success in love, and maybe they don't. Maybe you're tired of trying to figure this person out. Looks to me that you're definitely moving on from a situation. You're trusting your own inner thoughts. So maybe you finally figured it out and you just got the answers for yourself that you've always wanted. Yeah, you want new beginnings. You're not happy. You're not happy. You're trusting yourself. You're trusting your inner voice. All of that. You're trusting your thought process. And you definitely thought about it. But whoever you're dealing with, this person could have had you all tied up in doubt and trying to figure them out. And you're just letting that go. You're just going to let it go. And it looks to me that you're starting to focus on yourself, right? You're definitely going to start reaping rewards from your hard work. So whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you're doing, things are going to turn out in your favor. You could be up in your head, though, about it. You could have some worry about it, but things are going to turn out in your favor, right? Things are going to turn out in your favor. You could be having dreams, nightmares, stressed out. But what you don't know is you're going to start reaping the rewards from your hard work. It's going to come in for you. You're definitely moving on. You're definitely moving on. You want success in love. Maybe it's not with the person that you with. So eventually you're going to move on. Yeah, you got new opportunities coming your way. So you're going to end up walking away from something. Right? You got new opportunities. Maybe you're going to find somebody where you don't have to pull down all the layers trying to figure this person out. Maybe you're going to find someone who's going to share with you and show you, you know, what it is instead of you always consistently trying to figure it out. And here it is, King of Pentacles in reverse. You're tired of trying to figure this person out, right? You don't want to figure this person out anymore. And you're starting to follow your intuition. And I just saw one, two, two, two. So you have new opportunities. You're going to take this leap of faith. It looks like you're moving on. They could have had you mentally tied up, but you're starting to let that go too. You could be thinking about someone from your past. Or you could just be thinking about past moments, past times. Or someone from your past could be returning into your life. And maybe you just don't even see that. But as you release this one here, someone from your past could be returning. Ace of Cups in reverse. So it looks to me that you could be feeling a little stressed here about not giving your love to this person anymore. Because sometimes, you know, we don't know if we're making the right move or not. But you're learning to trust yourself. You're learning to trust your inner voice. You may even feel like that you jumped into a connection too fast. This could be the person that you're walking away from. Maybe you're realizing it just didn't work. You feel like you're pulling teeth. They don't talk, right? And you're not trying to figure this person out anymore. You may even have a fear of change. You may even have a fear of change. I don't know. But don't because you have new opportunities coming your way. If you have a fear of change, and sometimes we hold on longer than we should. You're finally standing up for yourself. You're standing in your inner power when it comes to this King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, you're definitely setting the ground for where you're going next and stuff like that. Like you're not doing it. This is your new beginning here. You're willing to start completely over. As opposed to trying to figure this person out. And believe it or not, your do-over may be this person from your past. Let's see, who is this person? Because somebody from your past may be coming back around and you don't even see it. So the person from your past is dropping some burdens that's in their life. They could be ending a situation. They could be, you know, coming up out of something. I'm going to put that here so y'all can see it. They could be ending something. Two of Wands in reverse. 
and they're not thinking about it anymore. So whoever this person is from the past, something is ending in their life and they're dropping their burden. It's like they're not even thinking about it anymore. They're just going to let it go. And they want you back. Death card in reverse. They may even have a fear of change, but they're definitely going to try to come back to you. Maybe try to rebuild or maybe just try to start wherever you all ended off. They may even possibly see stability and happiness with you. Maybe they feel like they can build with you. Maybe they feel like it could be something that's going on here. Holy Spirit, Knight of Swords in reverse. It's the King of Cups. You could have jumped into a relationship with somebody that you possibly thought was very loving, giving, and this and that. But people change when you jump in too fast. When you jump in too fast, you really don't know this person. But it was a quick, you know, whatever it was. But it looks like you're going to end up walking away from this person. You're the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to walk away from this person, which is the King of Pentacles in reverse, right? Holy Spirit, King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're walking away from this person. You're not up in your head anymore. You don't have that fear. You're not going to let things hold you back. You're not going to let the doubt hold you back. It's like you're moving on. But I think when you do move on, it's going to leave this person here in hangman. It's going to leave them in hangman. Holy Spirit. Clarify the moon card. Because you're definitely starting to follow your intuition. You're starting to do what you need to do. You realize there was a lot of injustice in this relationship. You maybe feel like it was unbalanced, right? It wasn't, maybe it wasn't equally yoked. So this is definitely a head over heart decision. Whoever you're walking away from, it's a head over heart decision. You're moving on. You're definitely moving on, but someone from your past is coming in. Who wants to build something with you? They may even offer you this two of cups, right? Who knows? Maybe you're going to be celebrating with this person soon. Who knows? They could be hopeful that it may even work. So somebody, while you're over here cleaning out your mess, somebody else is thinking about returning for you. Somebody else is thinking about coming back. Holy Spirit, clarify this community here. It's the tower in reverse, right? With the community here, some people don't want to let go. Some people don't want to see it. Um, maybe they don't want to let go of the situation while you're sitting there celebrating yourself, but you're moving on. The community could also have regrets. Maybe you're over here shining, 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 and doing what you need to do. Um, the community could be having regrets in their life about who did what to who or how. That community could be friends, it could be family or whatever, but they're sitting in regrets. But you're definitely moving on. Like you're moving on. All right, guys. Yeah, you're moving on. You're not going to let this hold you back, whatever it is. All right, guys. So this is that. This is that. You have a lot going on, but you are focused about what you're doing. You're ending a situation, but someone from your past is going to try to come back. Because they can see themselves building with you. You probably know who this person is. Or maybe it's even the person that you want back in your life as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.